Hey guys, it's Megan, the internet lesbian, and today we're going to be talking about the myth that bisexuals, pansexuals, other polysexual identifying people are not going to be faithful in a relationship. This myth really bothers me as a lesbian because I see people who are lesbians who are otherwise in the queer community that don't believe that bisexuals and pansexuals are good relationship material because they think that they're going to cheat on them. Usually if you're a lesbian, you're worried they're gonna cheat on you with like a man, right? Because they're attracted to men. And for some reason they like won't be satisfied with being with just a woman. They need a woman and a man or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I have dated lots of bisexual and pansexual people, so it, it just surprises me that people in the queer community who have been discriminated against, who have felt that crazy, like, hurt when people don't accept you and who, like, make assumptions about you, will go ahead and make assumptions about bisexual people or pansexual people that are really, really hurtful. Why does this myth exist? First of all, because biphobia is extremely rampant in our society. Like, bisexuals are seen as like slutty, as like promiscuous, they are told to choose a side, like just choose one, everybody else had to. And it's just really looked down upon in our society. And there's like this huge misconception that because they're attracted to more than one gender, that they need to have a partner of every gender to be satisfied, which isn't the case at all. Being bisexual does not mean that they want to be polyamorous. That's a totally different thing. Being bisexual or pansexual just means that they don't really give as much of a shit about gender as everybody else. They aren't more likely to cheat on you. If you will not date a bisexual person because they are bisexual or they are pansexual and you think they're going to cheat on you, like just because of that, then you are biphobic and you are part of the problem and you need to work to change your behavior. Really ask yourself, why do you think that? Is it because of anything that actually happened? Like, were you cheated on by a bisexual person and now you're like putting those negative attributes onto somebody that you don't know, that has never done anything bad to you or to anybody else that you know of? People are individuals. Lesbians have cheated on other lesbians. And guess what? Lesbians are like, every lesbian is going to cheat on you. Because one time I dated a lesbian and she cheated on me, so now I just don't trust lesbians. Nobody thinks like that. So why would you think like that when a bisexual person cheated on you? I don't get it. I really don't. So in conclusion, bisexuals and pansexuals are people and they shouldn't be judged as like a huge group and you shouldn't discriminate against them because they are part of that group and you shouldn't be a dick. Don't be a dick to bisexual and pansexual and other polysexual people. Lesbians gotta stand up for the B and the T and the P and the Q and the I and the A. We can't be pushing each other down. Even if you think it's just like, oh, that's just my personal preference, that doesn't make any sense. And you're biphobic and you need to look at yourself. Look at yourself. Anyway, that's all. So sorry that this video is late, you guys. I've been totally swamped with fucking midterms. But next week, the video will be on Wednesday. It's going to be an animated short story about my adorable little nieces and their horrible potty mouths. Check out last week's video that was about all lesbians are athletic. That was the myth that I tackled. So... I don't really know if it's over there. Maybe it's over here. Let's check these out. Check it out! I'll give you time to click. See ya. See you next week.